A while back, I released a video entitled Five Tips to Improve Your UI Designs, and you guys dug it. You were into it. So here it is. I'm coming back for another video with a clever title, Five More Tips to Improve Your UI Designs. I know, it's not a very clever title, but why wreck a good thing? All right, let's get started. This is five more tips to improve your user interface design, starting with tip number one, which is to use lighter text. You can see on my screen, we have an artboard. Everything is using pure black, especially with long form text like this. It can sometimes feel a little bit heavy, harder to read, but simply by lightening it up, you can see here I'm using 4F, 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 and it's just a little bit nicer. I'm still using pure black or close to pure black on my big headline, but the rest of the text is just a little bit lighter and that helps with legibility. That's tip number one to use lighter text. Tip number two is to choose a base color, use that throughout your interface component, and then add some different tints to it to bring the whole thing together. You can see here on my screen, we have a UI card. There's no base color really used. The whole thing seems okay, but we can add a little bit of spice to it just by bringing things together with a base color. So we've picked a base color. We've added that to our price, to our call to action, to our icon. And then we've actually added it as a little bit of a tint onto our image, not intense 40%, although there's nothing wrong with taking it up to be even a little bit more. That could look really nice too. Maybe you reverse these and instead of this one being the color, maybe then you use that as the black and use the tint in the background. But now the whole thing comes together. It's a little bit more like intentionally made for one specific purpose using that base color and the tint of that color. Tip number three is to add visual aids to our form errors or input field errors. You can see here on our little input field we have for our card. Let's say we've uh, forgot to enter in our size. We have entered in quantity. We tried to add it to the cart and we get a very generic error here that says, please fix the error in your form. Well, where's the error? We don't exactly know where. Now, this is not so bad at small scale, but imagine a large form with 20, 30, maybe input fields on it. That can get very, very hard to figure out what you did wrong. And so by adding some better indicators, a few visual aids that says, please select the size to add the item to the cart and then highlighting where the error is, we now give the user much better instructions on how to correct the errors and then move on in their flow. Tip number four is to add prominence to the most used action in a list of actions. You can see on our screen, we have a nice interface card built here with multiple actions that you might take, maybe new meeting or plan a meeting or download the saved meetings, whatever it is. But let's say new meeting is actually the primary action or the most commonly used action. It's now floating in a sea of other equally weighted options. And so we want to highlight the most used action, pop it out and make it very easy for the user to get to the thing that they're most likely going to do. We're doing a little bit of the work for them and that is good UI design. Tip number five is to use one typeface. If you're having trouble pairing typefaces, scale things down from multiple to a single typeface. You can see on our screen, we are using the entire kitchen sink on this card. We have Rochester here, Roboto here, uh, Rocket here, and Redressed here. A bunch of fonts that start with the letter R but are not looking too good together. It's looking a little bit like a garage sale. By simply drilling down on one font family that has multiple weights, we're using Roboto everywhere and using size and weight to give the contrast and prominence to certain elements, we simplify this design. It doesn't feel like a yard sale. It feels intentional and it looks good. Well, that's it. That's five more tips to improve your UI designs today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification icon so you know when another one like this comes out. If you'd like to learn more about UI design, UX design, get some mentorship, join a community, consider becoming one of my members. You can be a creative insider design champion or just a supporter. You can find the link to that down in the description. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're leveling up your UI game one step at a time. I'll see you in the next one.